Criteria four, and this is quite a big one. Criteria four is how replicatable or copyable is the platform surrounding the cryptocurrency, okay? So if you go on Poloniex, all you see is a load of cryptocurrencies by name, okay? You haven't necessarily gone to any websites, you haven't looked on any forums, you just see the name and it's impersonalized. So what you need to do is you need to do some research and find out what is the platform around it. You know, Ripple is going to be used as a currency in Japan, now that's not replicatable and that's why it had such a huge surge in value because it had a platform or it had a future development that was not easily replicatable, okay? They managed to do it based on their own success, okay? And the same with Steam. Steam is another great example. If you have a look on Poloniex or on Bittrex, you won't see any other platform like this. Okay, you won't see any other website looking like this. They all have a website. Most of them have websites. They offer wallets. They offer some good features. But are the features unique? A lot of cryptocurrencies that I see, PIVX, Dash, they're all quite similar in what they provide to users. Okay, They're all very similar in how they look and the information they present. Whereas something like Steam is completely unique. It's a social network where the actual members get paid by cryptocurrency. Now, because this isn't easily replicatable, it makes it much more unique in the marketplace. And because of its uniqueness, in this case, the social networks, and social networks grow quite well exponentially, organically. And so as a result, not only is this very unique, but it's also got a lot of value in the way it can grow. So you need to look at the features that are offered by the digital currency you're looking to invest in. And how replicatable is it by another cryptocurrency? How similar does the platform from one cryptocurrency look to the next? This is completely unique. I found no other platform like this behind a cryptocurrency. So this is immensely powerful, and this is why Digibuy and Steam have become certainly my two cryptocurrencies to invest in, okay? But they both have a personal affinity to me. I like gaming, I like social networking, okay? And I think that the, the, both of these cryptocurrencies have these amazing innovations. But what you've got to do is you've got to go onto Poloniex and Bittrex or Bitfinex or whatever platform you do all the trading on and have a look deeply into the cryptocurrencies, research them, research their backgrounds and research their current value. You have to combine all of the four criteria together to see if you've got something big. Has it got a good entry price? You know, are you buying before the storm? Are you basically in the calm before the storm? Criteria two, what are the future innovations coming up for it? Now, Steam it is in beta stage, so it's got some great innovations. It's got, you know, potentially a released version going out to the public. So what are the innovations and future updates coming up that will increase the value? And then number three, what is the community like? Do you feel part of that community? Do you feel included? Do you feel happy to be part of it for the long term? Because when it comes down to cryptocurrencies, the whole pump and dump kind of strategy of just putting money in and then dumping it as soon as it falls down in value is a short term strategy. But the long term strategy, which is arguably the most valuable, we have a look back to Bitcoin Plus. As I've already shown you, if you had got in around about September 2015, you would have been able to get in when the price was at roughly 0 0.07, was 7 cents, sorry, 7 cents. So there it is, 7 cents. So if you had bought or plowed $1,000 into Bitcoin Plus at this point and then left it for a year and a half, okay, that's a long game. If you left it for a year and a half, then you would have made a 1,000 times the value. 
okay? And you would be a millionaire. If you were to put $1,000 at this point down here, you'd be a millionaire now, okay? But if you did the pump and dump strategy, okay, so you buy in at seven cents and then over time, oh yeah, this is getting pretty good. And it's uh, you know, $1.90 or something like that. Then you've made like, for, you've made probably $10,000. Yet, if you really wait, then you can make massive long-term gain. Okay, now Bitcoin's quite a big one. It's got quite a wide space between going from, you know, 0.7 cents to $80, okay? But you've got recent examples like Dash, Ripple, Pivx that have done extremely well in a short-term period. So it doesn't have to be a year and a half, but if you're gonna play the long game, it's a good idea to be part of a community that you are happy to keep coming back to. Because if you don't like it, if it's hostile to you, or if you have nothing in common with them, you you can't be in it for the long game. So you've got to play it like a good strategy. A lot of people that invest in stocks and shares, they play a huge game. They, they, they invest for 20, 30 years before they cash it out. So a year and a half even is relatively short to get such a massive benefit. So you've got to love the community. And then lastly, is the community, is the platform behind the cryptocurrency replicatable? If it isn't, you've got a potentially amazing cryptocurrency there. And if you've got all of these factors combined, you're on to a winner. And the great thing about this is that you can actually apply brains to the process. You're not just going on Poloniex and going, right, I'll buy some EXP, I'll buy some ZEC, I'll buy some VRC, I'll buy some ARDR, I'll buy some BLK. You know, that could work. You know, if you've got some that do obscenely well and some that do obscenely badly, you balance it out and you don't necessarily make a lot of money, but you don't lose a lot of money. But it's not a system that will allow you to make long-term rewards and gains. So if you're going to play the long game, you need those four factors. So I hope that that has really helped educate you on what you can do to make sure that you've got a cryptocurrency you can invest in for the long term and spot the potentially enormous gains that it can make. So I hope that's helped and I'll see you in the next lecture.